Hello and welcome to Sports Fan Entertainment. It's time for another 2017 NFL Draft Scouting Report. And today we're talking about wide receiver Corey Davis out of Western Michigan. So, believe that Mike Williams is the best receiver in this 2017 NFL Draft class. To that I say, ha! Because Corey Davis, to me, easily is the best wide receiver in this class. But he's a little ahead of John Ross, who I talked about earlier. We look at his size, okay, 6'3", 209 pounds, this is official, he got this at the combine, and that's good size, man. In fact, that's even a little higher or better than I thought he was going to be. I thought it was only going to be like 6'2", maybe like, maybe around 210 actually, so the, the poundage isn't surprising, but the height is for me and I'm happy. You look at his 2016 stats, oh my goodness, 97 catches, over 1,500 receiving yards, or exactly 1,500, and then 19 receiving touchdowns, wow, I mean, and hello, he broke the receiving yards record for FBS history, so we know we're getting nothing short of production from Corey Davis, we look at his projected 40 time, now I'm a little generous here looking back when I made this, I said 4 5 one. It could be only 4-5-4, four, 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 five, four, maybe 4-5-5, four, five, five, somewhere in there, but let's just say 4-5-1. I mean, I think he has, he should be faster than Mike Williams, who ran at his pro day around a 4-5-6. So, I mean, he should be definitively faster. So, I think this is actually a good number, but it just depends on the day, how much water weight he's carrying and whatnot. But this 40 time, it's not great, but it ain't bad. It's, it's certainly good enough. I mean, there's plenty of wide receivers in the NFL that run around this sort of 40 time. We look at his strengths, okay? How about yards after the catch, man? This guy, I like to call him Mr. YAC, Mr. Yards After the Catch, because, man, when he gets that ball in his hands and he has some room, he maximizes his yards after the catch almost every single time. He knows how to stay on his feet and get upfield in a hurry. Mr. YAC. Corey Davis. Look at his route running, man. He's a very good route runner, especially coming from this MAC conference, not getting great coaching. I mean, he is so good at his routes in terms of route running, and his route tree is pretty expensive at this point. Not quite as expensive as it could be, but it's pretty expensive, and he runs routes very well, comes in and out of breaks very well, doesn't tip off what route he's running to the cornerback too early. Very good route runner, always consistent with his depths in terms of yardage, you know, running a 10-yard out when he has to run a 10-yard out, very consistent there. I like his route running. How about his size? Again, 6'3", 209, I like that size. And then now, now high pointing the ball, he's very good at it. He's not as good as Mike Williams, but he's pretty damn good. We all saw his touchdown against, I want to say, Wisconsin in their bowl game. At, at the very end of the game, I mean, this was a great touchdown and a great example of high pointing the ball, saying, look at this ball, I'm about to grab it over you, get ready, boy. How about his weaknesses? Drops. And no one's talking about this, but it's a problem. And I have a stat to back this up. 11 drops for Corey Davis this year, his senior year, this is according to Pro Football Focus, that's bad. And, and, and mainly their concentration drops, I mean, I could see it. Whenever he was streaking down the field on a go route or on a slant, the occasional slant or something like that. But his hands are not as good as advertised. Now you can say, okay, it's because he got a bunch of targets at Western Michigan. He was their offense, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But, man, right now his hands aren't great. And perhaps, yes, when you do give him less targets, then his drops, drop percentage at least will decrease. But, uh, man, the drops were concerning me. And then when I also look at his overall, just as him as a prospect, is there an elite trait here? I mean, he's very good at route running, very good in terms of yards after the catch. I mean, that's probably his best strength. I mean, if anything, that's probably his elite trait. Um, his size is pretty good, but not great. There's something missing here that's elite. Now, this isn't a big deal, okay? Because this was true for... And Antonio Brown, definitely, when he came out, and for some other guys as well. But it's something that I like to have. You know, I like to have that, okay, look at Julio Jones. Like, this guy just has elite speed and elite size. Like, I just like to have that. That's just a little, you know, thing of mine. Uh, but we look at a pro comparison, okay? Demarius Thomas and Jordy Nelson. Now, Demarius Thomas is much faster, okay? Let me just say that right now. But in terms of getting yards after the catch, man, there are similarities there. And then Jordy Nelson just being such an adept route runner, being very consistent. I think that's also a good pro comparison there. 
we move on to the next slide we look at his best fits and let's start with the Tennessee Titans man the Tennessee Titans is a perfect fit to me they're looking for a guy like this that can run all of the routes coming out of college a guy that can be consistent for Marcus Mariota for years to come get yards after the catch as well and man he'd just be a perfect fit for their offense for their smash mouth exotic smash mouth offense we look at the Baltimore Ravens who need a possession receiver opposite of Mike Wallace to me and also opposite of Brashad Perriman you know those are two guys that can really take the top off the defense even at his advanced age Mike Wallace can do that how about a possession receiver to help move the chains consistently for Joe Flacco when the Ravens won the Super Bowl they had Anquan Bolden who could do this for them time and time again they could have another version of him in Corey Davis we look at the Buffalo Bills who again could use someone to help take the pressure off of Sammy Watkins and then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so yes, they signed Deshaun Jackson, but Deshaun Jackson is only like 31 years old at this point. I mean, you could still seek to upgrade your wide receiving group and help surround Jameis Winston with even more weapons. So I like the Bucks fit there. You look at a prospect grade. I like this guy. 88. Very good prospect, possible Pro Bowls, and top 12 to 15 out of position. And I think he's even gonna have a very good impact early on. Depending on the you know the certain teams you know certain teams they don't want to play their rookies like the Minnesota Vikings like they did not play Laquan Treadwell at all, but assuming that an NFL team is actually willing to play this guy, I mean he's gonna have an impact. I look back at Michael Thomas last year, and he was a guy that wasn't too fast. Like he ran a forty, I want to say like four five four forty yard dash time. But he was just so good at catching the football, number one. He had, like, the lowest drop rate I've ever seen. And he was also very good at route running. And that allowed him to be very successful in the NFL early on. I look at that sort of production from Corey Davis possibly early on. Don't be surprised if Corey Davis has 1,000 receiving yards his first year. Now, I won't predict it, but I'm just saying don't be surprised if that happens. I mean, the good thing about Michael Thomas was he was with Drew Brees, okay? So it's not hard to get over 1,000 yards with Drew Brees, but... Let's say Corey Davis goes to the Baltimore Ravens or goes to the Tennessee Titans. I think a thousand yards is very uh, possible for Corey Davis, and he's going to have an impact early on and for years to come as he even gets better in terms of his route running and his hands get more consistent. He works on his hands a little bit because, again, they're a bigger problem to me, and I think a lot of people are talking about Corey Davis. I mean, I think he's going to be very, very good for years to come. I really like Mr. Corey Davis, and he is my number one wide receiving prospect in the 2017. NFL draft. So to conclude, with sound receiving skills and a great all-around game, Corey Davis is an NFL ready number one wide receiver who will make an impact for years to come. And I truly believe that. I really like Corey Davis again, good route runner. And to be so adept at that part of his game, such a crucial part of the wide receiving game, it's gonna be a great trade for him moving forward and he will find success. I can almost guarantee you of that. So there you go. That is my scouting report on Corey Davis, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan. What are your thoughts on Corey Davis? Comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.